Hey guys, come on, let me show y'all this. Are y'all ready for this? I don't know if y'all are ready for this. Okay, so as y'all know in the last mobile channel video, I talk about how we were having a garage sale. And let me tell ya, we had a garage sale. We did so awesome. So first of all, I gotta say that we had my mom, my sister, uh, me and Krista, and a friend of the family there, all helping out with the garage sale. And all together, all of that, you know, bringing all of our stuff together, bringing it over here, selling it and all this mess, we made over $1,100, uh, you know, all three of us come out. Hey, Zelda, you came back for a couple of days, maybe. How are you? Hey, you doing okay? Yeah. <laughs> so, um... Zelda, she comes and goes as she pleases. I think some another family's been feeding her. So yeah, eleven $1 hundred dollars at the garage sale, and so we uh, started calculating and whatnot, figuring out who did what. And the friend of the family that came made about two hundred dollars. My sister made about sixty bucks or so. My mom made about two hundred dollars, and we made seven hundred dollars. So I talk about it in a, in a main channel video that's going to hopefully go up on Friday. I've shot it today, and I show you all the gold thermometer and whatnot and how we're doing and all this mess. So uh, make sure to look for that soon. Super awesome. I'm so pumped that we did so well with our garage sale. Now, another, uh, I've been doing kind of like tips whenever I talk about the garage sale. I did it on the vlog a lot, and uh, I don't know if you guys have this in your area, but here in Lafayette, there's a couple of places where you can take... Uh, clothing, and they you bring it to them, they sort through it, pick out the stuff they want, and they'll buy it from you. So, we went down and brought all that baby clothes that we had, we brought down to a place, a place called Once Upon a Child, and we got an additional $27.50 for that. Then we took all of my mom's stuff that she, she gave us her stuff, and she said, whatever you don't sell at the garage sale, I don't want it back, get rid of it. So I took all that down to another place called Closet Mentor, Clothes Mentor, Mentor Closet, something like that. And we got another $42 for that. And then I took uh, some of me and Krista's clothes down to another place called Plato's Closet. You, it sounds like I'm driving all over town, but I'm not. They're like literally right next to each other because the same uh, owner owns all three stores. And we got another $9 from that store. So after the garage sale, with the garage sale stuff, we got an additional, like, 80-something dollars. Fantastic. Then, I found a bookstore that buys used books. They only buy hardback books. But uh, I sold two of them to them for five bucks. So we got an additional five bucks from him. So, uh, after the garage sale, total money makeover awesomeness update. I'm just super stoked about how we've been doing. Because that's an additional... 85 to the 703 we did, that's uh, $788 uh, added on to our total money makeover within the past, you know, week or whatever. Uh, plus, you know, I've been still trying to hawk stuff on Craigslist too, so it's been going really well. I am super excited for our total money makeover, and uh, hopefully we can, uh, get, uh, the goal is to have $3,000 by, we were thinking the end of this month, it was the initial goal. It may take us a little bit more into the next month, but we'll definitely do it by the time that the new baby gets here. So that is uh, super awesome, exciting. And uh, we still have a couple of other things here from the garage sale, that box right there. We're gonna bring that down to a local men's shelter. Uh, there's a, uh, some shorts and a sweater cap, and then like pillows and blankets and a, a mattress uh, pad uh, so that they have something to sleep on. So that's cool. We still have our friend the freezer here, if you guys watch. The uh, blog, y'all know all about that guy there. Although at the garage sale, we did have someone uh, who took down my number because he is interested in it. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can sell that thing. Uh, we're thinking about just selling it and taking our losses and moving on, even though, you know, if y'all don't know the story behind it, we bought it on Craigslist for 100 bucks. It's too big. It's a little older than I thought. We kind of didn't go with our gut and tell the people no that we didn't want it. So we bought it from them anyway, and they delivered it to us. And then, uh, you know, once we realized how bad it was and it didn't fit, uh, we, they told us they would give us a refund. We called them and called them. They never gave us a refund. They never called us back. So we're kind of stuck with it. So hopefully we can get rid of that on Craigslist or something like that. I need to list it is the problem. I need to remember to do that. But, um, yeah, that's our Total Money Makeover update so far. 
<laughs> Thank you guys for watching. And um, if y'all want more, make sure to check out the main channel video coming out. Hopefully, I believe it's going to be on Friday. Uh, I think I can get it edited by then. Okay, bye.